Disclaimer: This video is solely meant for educational purpose, that of trying to copy Deepika's makeup style. Any comments regarding "Oh, she's prettier than you" or "Oh, you don't even look like her" will not be entertained. The comment will be deleted and you will be blocked. Happy watching! So this is our first makeup look. She wore this for the first day of Can, and we will be starting off with Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. And I'm just gonna pat it into my skin. I'm working this in like this because it is a silicone-based primer. And once I'm done with that, I will be moving on to my foundation, which is gonna be Milani Perfect and Conceal Foundation with the help of this packed silicone sponge. And I'm just gonna pat it on and then just blend it in. Now I'm gonna be honest, I did not feel the dress that much on this day, but her makeup did look stunning and it was very colorful and vibrant. This silicone sponge however gives you full 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 coverage so yes if you are using a full coverage foundation and you don't want a full coverage look this probably isn't the best option but if you are all about the full coverage life then definitely go for this so i'm blending this foundation all over my face and my neck and yeah that's what i'm doing it's a very good foundation and after that i'm going to move on to my concealer which is the prolonged wear concealer by mac and i'm applying it to my under eyes in a triangular shape i first started to work with the packed silicone sponge and I soon realized that um, I do like my concealer to be soaked up a little by the sponge and because silly sponge or silicone sponge definitely does not soak up anything I had to go in with another <laughs> sponge just to soak it up so I dampened my packed diamond blender with some NYX dewy setting spray and I blended this out so because the concealer was sitting on my face for a longer time it did take me a little bit longer to blend it out but nonetheless it was all fine in the end and antubula it's sab bhala I am just blending out every concealer area on my face before moving on to my translucent powder which is gonna be the Kralon translucent powder this is in the shade TL4 which is slightly yellow so it will balance out my dark circles and everything so I'm setting all of my concealed areas with this just to brighten them up even more and then moving on to my contouring using the good old Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm just gonna contour using the shade Havana now I forgot about this palette because I honestly fell in love with more contour palettes with this is an okay palette I feel it's slightly more drying but it's not bad but yes of course you are paying a lot of money for it so you know I have to finish it up because I paid a lot for it then I'm gonna move on to my Colourpop blush and I'm just gonna apply it on my cheeks all of the shades will be mentioned in the bottom bar so you can go ahead and check that out she didn't have a lot of blush in this look particularly so I'm just going with a very light hand before moving on to my highlighter for which I'm using this wet and wild highlighter this is actually a Fergie highlighter so it's not there anymore I believe they have renamed the highlighter itself but this is a very nice skin like highlighter and it's very beautiful all the wet and wild is not that easily available in India ever since Luxola shut down so I'm just gonna highlight my face with this and I love the way the highlighter look on my face then I'm just misting my face again with the NYX dewy setting spray and I'm just gonna push everything into my skin with the help of that same diamond sponge so that everything is blended into everything and it looks like my skin but better then I'm using Maybelline Creamy Brow Pencil which is BRW in the text for some reason and I'm gonna just apply it, apply it, wow, I'm just gonna fill into my brows to just give my brows that wow effect because Deepika always has beautiful brows and then I'm just using NYX Control Freak Brow Gel, all of the prices if not available in India, I have converted from dollars to rupees whatever would be there, obviously it doesn't have to be the actual price, just letting you guys know, like Colourpop is the blush is $4.50 so the price in US is $8 so if you convert it with 68 as the conversion rate, 450 is going to be the kind of thing. So I just took the Avon Glimmer Stick Pencil and I'm making a wing liner trying to be very precise, as precise as I can and then I'm just going to take this Maybelline Drama Lasting Gel Liner, I don't know why the text just went away and I'm just applying it on one line on my outer wing area because she had a glistening metallic effect on the outer wing area if you see a close up and I'm also going with that same liner on my borderline because she bottom borderline because she did have like a greeny teal color there and we'll come back to this later on as well with the greener color I'm just 
curling my lashes i never do this but dipika did not seem to have uh you know false eyelashes but she did seem to have like an eyelash extension or something so i'm just priming my eyes with the primer side of the false fall these superstar fall these mascara and then i'm using another lasting drama gel liner this is in the green color and i'm just applying it on my waterline just to bring that green effect to my eyes and then i'm just smudging it in place with this brush like i'm not smudging it downwards i'm just smudging it in place and then i'm using the actual mascara side of the um, mascara i'm just to tongue tie for this shit and I'm, you see that makes a lot of difference and then I'm going to use these two lipsticks the brown one is in the shade Irish Coffee by Nika K and the pink one is in the shade Mobla by L'Oreal I'm just going to use the brown one first I'm going to show you both of the lip options so I'm going to be using the brown one first and then I'm topping it off with Mobla and I will be kissing away the excess so that I have the perfect shade that Deepika had And this is our first look and I love how it turned out. You can go more neutral on the uh, lips if you want, if you are too scared of the eye. But I loved how starting this look and some good music was playing in the back and that's why I was feeling so sassy. And then I'm going to move on to the red lips. So I'm first applying this Madalicious Crayon by Nykaa in the shade Plum. And I somehow managed to get it on my collarbone, like below my collarbone. I don't know how. And then I'm taking the red shade just on the centers to complete my look the second look with the second lip option and again I loved how it turned out it looked so stunning I was so happy with the look like beyond obsessed beyond obsessed this is the second look we are going to go for this is the first look she wore on the red carpet now the eyes are pretty beautiful and so are the lips so I'm starting off with the Becca backlight filter primer don't mind my pimple scar it will take some time and going away so this primer I'm just working massaging it in because it's a non silicone primer and it would give my skin a nice glow and then I'm going with Pack HD liquid foundation there are very few foundations I can trust my life with and this is one of them so this is in the shade 2.3 I generally use 2.5 but I'm going to be using 2.3 because I think 2.5 was a slightly darker for me right now so I am just blending it everywhere everywhere then I'm gonna take LA girl Pro concealer and I'm gonna apply it under my eyes very lightly because I don't want a highly highlighted look as you know she didn't have a lot of highlighting and contouring going on and I'm then just blending it with my YBB makeup perfector that's what I'm doing right now and once that is all nice and blended out I'm gonna take the pack compact with an elf blush brush and I'm literally just pressing this into my skin you see how am I holding my brush I'm pressing this into my skin then I'm gonna take a NYX contour palette and I'm gonna pick up the shade sculpt and just sculpt out my cheekbones because Deepika has a beautiful bone structure sadly I don't so I'm just uh, can I get her bone structure I'm gonna contour the shit out of my jawline because double chin go away so I am just going to contour that and after that I am going to take Mary Luminizer and you see how happy I am with that and I am just going to apply it on the tops of my cheeks again this gives a very beautiful glow it's non chunky one of the best highlighters ever it's the first highlighter that made me fall in love with highlighters as well and then I am going to apply blush she had an amazing quantity of blush on that day so I am just taking this essence blush up blush and then just blushing up them cheeks nicely because she had a nice amount of blush then I'm taking LA Girl Matte Setting Spray, just spritzing it all over my face, taking a quick shower, using the Makeup Perfector to just blend everything in. Taking the Freedom Eyebrow Pomade and I'm just gonna fill into my eyebrows. Deepika is known for bold brows, so that's what I'm going for. She has like heavily filled in bold brows, like no hold back girl, just fill them in. Then I'm gonna take these two eyeshadows. They're in the number 17 and 29 respectively. I'm gonna have it listed in the bottom bar as usual for you guys. And I'm just giving my eyes a quick wash of that before going in with the shade number 07 which is a pale gold and going in my inner corners. I looked at a lot of close-up photographs and this is what I could make out. So I'm just blending all of the edges out before going in with these two pencils. So the Lacme Iconic is in the color grey. I'm not really sure if this will make it or not but I have it. So I'm just gonna apply it on my eyes. So her liner wasn't really grey or black. It was somewhere in between. So I'm first applying the grey liner to both of my eyes after which I'm also gonna apply it to my waterline and lower lash line and then I'm gonna go with the black apply a little and smudge it all across my liner with my finger 
so that I have a color between black and gray. You want to smudge this liner. She had a smudged liner look. You don't want to go for a very strict liner. I'm repeating the same thing on my lower lash line as well because that's how she had it. Then I'm going to curl my lashes because again, it, she did not have any false lashes on but she did definitely have like eyelash extensions or something. So I'm using Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and applying it to my lashes to give them a nice lift. Like a nice lift. So I'm just applying it on top and bottom lashes both before moving on to L'Oreal Tint Caress in the shade Plum, Plum Blossom. This is what she had apparently as well and she did do a video where she was applying this and saying that this is what I'm wearing today although I do believe that her own lips look a little darker than this than what my lips are looking and middle parting does not suit me. I was trying to work that middle parting so bad but then I was like you know what I'm just gonna stick to my own side parting because Deepika can drop that middle parting up. Sadly, I, I really can't. Like, I look Salman Khan from Tere Naam with a uh, middle parting. Okay, no. Okay, no. Next look is this one, which a lot of you guys love. Like, you love. So, for this one, literally, you can do the same base makeup. Just remove your eyeshadow and lip color. This is a great day to night look if you are going to do that. So, I'm just going to take a brown eyeshadow. This is from the Nick Hot Singles range. And I'm going to go above my crease. I'm not going to go in my crease but slightly above my crease because Vitika had panda bedroom smoky eyes. Then I'm going to take Nykaa I am black and I'm going to rub it all across my eye. Not that, you know, neatly. I'm then taking a flat shader brush to make it a little bit more neat and not that messy. Then I'm taking this Inglot Freedom System shadow which is one of the best black shadows ever. They have changed the round packaging to square so if you can't find the round packaging that's why. And then I'm just blending it out with the same brush that I used the brown with in circular motion. And then I'm going to go on my lower lash line with that black and really smoke it down because she had it really smoked down. Like, smoked down. Then I'm taking the same mascara and working it in my lashes to just give my lashes a nice boost of color. What? Nice boost of volume. And then I'm going to take Mobla again because it looked like she had Mobla and then I'm just patting it on my lips because you want to give your lips a nice peachy pinky nudie kind of a look and this is the final look i love this one so much it is so pretty so perfect and it's a great look if you're gonna go clubbing or something like that and the bun had me at wow <laughs> so the last look is gonna be this one which she wore last night for her last red carpet appearance so it's a very fierce look i'm starting off with the maybelline master primer primer Past the primer primer and then I'm just gonna apply it all over my face massaging it in this is a non silicone a primer that's why I'm massaging it in then I'm using the same Milani perfect and conceal foundation I'm just gonna work it in with my YVP makeup perfecto so I'm just blending 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 dabbing dabbing blending blending that's what I'm doing and once I am done with my foundation all over my face I'm gonna go to L'Oreal true match concealer and I'm gonna apply it under my eyes in a triangular shape on my nose, brows, the brain on brows, forehead, cupid bow chin and again just dab and blend. You just want to blend it till your hands hurt. So once I am done blending all of that out, I'm going to move on to Rimbel Perfect Match. Wow, Perfect Match Loose Powder. Hello typos and I'm just going to set my under eyes. I'm not baking, I'm just setting them with my sponge. And then I'm going to contour using Makeup Revolution Ultra Bronzer and then just, you know, go in the normal contouring position. I am not heavily contouring because Deepika didn't seem to have a lot of contouring on. And then I'm going to move on to blush. She had a nice amount of blush. Like, a, again, a nice amount of blush. So this is the shade Hot, which is a beautiful shade. And after that, I'm going to move on to highlighting. I'm using Undress Your Skin Highlighter, which is again, ugh, such a stunning color like I can't even with such beautiful colors I'm just highlighting all over my face wherever it's required and then just moving on to next dewy finish spray and taking a quick shot in it and then just you know the drill by now this is the first tutorial you're watching you would obviously know the drill taking a next micro brow pencil and just working in my pencils surprisingly in this makeup look Deepika didn't have like heavily filled eyebrows she more had like feathered eyebrows so that's what I'm going for so I'm not filling them in heavily and then I'm setting them with control freak brow gel so that they have some sort of a texture in them moving on to face by shadow stack in the shade frolic like I'm gonna pick up the teal shade which is the middle shade and then work it onto my eyelid like that I'm also gonna drag it out like an unfinished wing like an unsharp wing that you can see here in a better view and then I felt it was a little more green so I'm taking this matte bright palette and picking up that green shade and I'm patting it on my lid like that it gives birth to a very beautiful color then I'm taking this eyeshadow duo this is a discontinued one but you can find this lemon green color in a lot of palettes so she definitely had an ombre eye like a dual ombre eye on the inner corners and the outer corners both 
and then I'm taking that same bronzer and I'm just blending the harsh edges out. If you see the close-ups, you can definitely see that ombre working and I wanted to give that effect as well. Then I'm taking that same green liner that I earlier used and I'm going to work it in my bottom lash line as well as waterline and when I applied it, I honestly felt my eyes needed it as well because it was that beautiful kind of a forest green colour. So I'm just working it on my eyelids as well. Like you can see, I'm smudging and applying. Taking that same genius eyelash curler from PAC. I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and then I'm taking a sense get big lash mascara and applying it to my top and bottom lashes both to give my lashes a baba boom effect. Effect. And then I'm taking Maybelline Creamy Matte in the shade Touch of Spice and applying it on my lips because it's a beautiful shade. It's a beautiful shade and this is something that Deepika seems to have on as well and will be dabbing off the excess later. And this is the last look all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful for you in some or the other way. I love the looks that Deepika sported in the Cannes Film Festival this year. Let me know if you'd like to see any other inspired look because I would love to do it for you guys. And I will see you guys super duper duper soon. Till then follow me on all of my social media because I'm really active there. I love you all so 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 much. And I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.